This game is too big to fail. That's right, another freaking GTA video. Yes, guys, I'm sorry. We've been doing a whole bunch of GTA videos. But look, there's not a ton going on in the gaming industry right now. Consoles are coming out in a few weeks. Uh, Batman's coming out, but and John's going to do a quick shock on that. But other than that, there ain't shit going on. So we're going to talk about Grand Theft Auto. Now, somehow I missed the announcement of Rockstar giving out this stimulus package to the players of Grand Theft Auto Online to make up for the issues they were having at launch. Rockstar announced that they're going to give every player $500,000 in two payments, one of 200 250,000 and another one of 250,000. Let me clarify in game, of course, not real money, even though they probably have enough to do that. Hmm. It was supposed to be out last week and it got pushed a little bit because they said they want to iron out some of the bugs um, that are still present before they go ahead and do that. It's kind of like we're sorry and now everything's fixed, I guess. It's kind of relaunched thing. So I don't like this idea at all. Now, in a previous video, we talked about how a lot of people were saying Rockstar really owes it to gamers and has to make it up to them. And we clearly stated we did not feel that way. I mean, it is a big game and I thought it was unreasonable for players to expect it to work so well. Rockstar even had the balls to come out and say, you know, this is probably not going to work day one perfectly but i don't like the idea of giving players this huge sum of money i've been playing gta online for a few weeks now and i've only amassed like fifty thousand dollars total and i've spent a lot of it on cars bikes motorcycles all that shit and i think that's the point of gta online is this journey through the ranks of buying nicer and nicer stuff starting out in a shitty apartment building your way up getting the nice cars through hard work now i have a few friends online you know who you are you know who will you who you you bastards are you cheaters but you know what you do what you want and there was some glitches in gta online that few of my friends kind of uh exploited to get a ton of money and they have all the nicest stuff and merryweather things and all this crap i want to build up my empire i don't want to just be handed everything right off the bat now there is an argument to be made that you still need to play a bunch to get the proper level to buy the stuff but you're they're giving you so much money they're ruining the game i don't see the value in cheating my way to the top and then wasting the game because i plan on playing this game for a while or at least till the ps4 comes out and then i'll probably never touch it again but i want it to last me i want to build my way up but you do what you want i'm gonna donate my five Five hundred thousand dollars of in-game cash to charity yes to charity to help out those less fortunate players or maybe i'll just keep it in the bank and buy a really nice car or a nice apartment or anyways guys that's what i think about this stimulus package the five hundred thousand dollars let me know what you think about it below in the comment section and also a little update on culture shock you may have noticed there hasn't been a ton of videos coming out in the last week or so since the doom 49 video that's because the camera that we were using we were borrowing from somebody and unfortunately they needed it back so we are now stuck without a camera until we uh, purchase a new one and i'm looking into that currently i'm using an older camera right here it's only shoots in 720p so it's enough for one of these quick shocks but i don't want to released the full culture shocks on them we have a couple of culture shocks in the tank um, about two of them so those two will be coming out and then hopefully we'll have a camera by then so yeah be patient and don't kill me i'm sorry mm.